Okay, we have Jalen, and he is ready for your questions. We will start on the right side here in the third row. Hey, Jalen. Emily Cochran, Fox 10 Sports in Mobile. Um, I just had a question about Ryan Williams. How's it been with, you know, have y'all built some chemistry so far, and what do you think his potential is to play this season? Yeah, um, it's been great to have Ryan on campus. Um, he was a guy that came in the summertime. So for me, it's all about building chemistry and getting on my teammates. That's been big this offseason, getting on my teammates. And that's one guy um, that I try to get to know, uh, Ryan. Doing a really good job just trying to master the system, master the game plan, master us as a group because um, it's new. I was a guy that came in, um, and it was all about finding your place and also trying to get better, but also meeting new guys. And so that's a guy um, that I try to build a relationship with. But with our reps that we have together, he's doing a really good job um, building, getting better, and he's a guy that's um, that's likable around the, around the whole campus and all the coaching staff, and it's a guy that's a key resource for Alabama. We'll stay on the same row on the end. Corey LeBounty, WNSP 105.5, Mobile, Alabama. Jalen, I know you've been doing camps throughout the summertime with the kids. Talk about the fun and excitement that you had in Mobile a couple of days ago. And also, a second part, the mental health issue aspect of things that you brought out and how you've been affected by it and how you can help others by talking about the mental aspect of it. Firstly, um, the camps. Um, my first camp was in Tuscaloosa at Hillcrest High. Um, what a great moment. Um, that was, that was um, something that was one of my goals, um, was to host my first camp, host a camp. And it was a sense of giving back to the community and allowing kids to have fun and branch off and meet new people and have an opportunity to play the game of football. The game of football is beautiful. It's, beautiful. it's a vehicle for allowing you to meet a lot of great people, but also put you in a journey where you can meet and, get in, and build on your craft. And that's something I try to utilize is the game with having these camps uh, initially. Um, with the camps that I just had, um, it was awesome to be there with the kids, be involved with the camp. Um, I was able to play seven on seven with the kids, saw some good gritty moves, saw some good dance moves, saw some good touchdown celebrations. Uh, a, lot of a lot of kids having fun in that hot sun, so they were grinding. Uh, but no, it was a lot of fun to have the camps. I look forward to building and having more camps in the future. Um, so it was very exciting. Um, secondly, you asked about the mental health aspect. I think that is a strength that people must have to be successful in the game of football. And you might not realize it until you hit a tough moment on your journey. And it's all about being right, around the right people that uplift you and also being around people um, that want to see the best um, from you and in you. And so that's all, that's all what it came down to. And I'm a strong believer in faith and having that on your side, and it's, it gives you direction and purpose and give you the strength in any opportunity um, that is presented that it might, adversity might pop up. But um, I think mental health is something that you should truly be strong in. Front row and then pass it over your shoulder. Hey, Jalen, Jacques Doucet, WAP in Baton Rouge. A two-part question for you. Uh, going into last year's LSU game, you didn't have a whole lot of yardage rushing and you took over that game as a runner. What, what transpired in that game? And then second, your thoughts on going to Tiger Stadium and what you've seen and heard about that this year? Yeah, um, I think one thing that Coach Saban um, said to me and it set home for me was being a point guard with the football, whether distributing the ball to our playmakers, whether using your legs, put the ball in place so our offense can be, can be successful, but also doing things um, that's all that a part of the game plan. Of course, you, you know, try to master the game plan throughout the week and look at some Tennessee's weaknesses from an opposing opponent. And when it came to that week, it was all about attacking the game plan and trying to do what was best for our offense, whether it was my arm, whether it was my legs. Um, that's what truly took place. Um, secondly, with your question about going to Tiger Stadium, what a great opportunity, you know, being a road warrior. Um, you know, playing at SC is, is the best conference. I feel as though each and every week you have to give your all, especially being at Alabama, you're going to get everybody best game. So, you know, we're anticipating a great crowd, um, a lot of energy, so super excited um, for the future with playing on, on the road. Front row on the right. Uh, Eric Bailey with the Tulsa World, kind of piggybacking off that question. Kirby Smart did say yesterday any road win in the SEC is a big, a big win, and Oklahoma is going to come to expect tough Saturdays on the road. Uh, can you talk about what Oklahoma can expect on the road in the SEC, and what what has been your toughest road game during your career at Alabama? Uh, first question, you know, um, I've had a great great uh, experience playing in the SEC with just seeing um, all the enthusiasm, all the energy, 
all the tough games um, that's placed in the SEC with all the competition. So I've seen a lot, you know, with, with my time being in college. Um, so I can just say, you know, they're going to have a, um, uh, a lot of competitive games and also a great experience just playing in the SEC. Um, but number one, the resources that's provided um, with being a student athlete and being a student at um, an SEC school, just a lot is poured into the universities. So that's what a, what a great opportunity um, with that, being in SEC. So super happy for them, for now, that, for them to have that experience. Um, so, you know, what a, what a great opportunity with them being a part of SEC. What was your second question? Oh, no, nah, yeah, you know, like I mentioned, you know, playing, playing on the road is hard. Um, that's something that we try to embrace in the off season is just the challenges that might be, may be presented in the future with playing on the road. Um, so it's, it's hard to narrow down one because um, especially because like me and Alabama are going to get everybody best game and a lot of energy is going to be, be placed in the, in the building. So it's hard to narrow down one. But it, it's super exciting playing in the South, Southeast Conference. Left side, third row. Tyler Shaw with KBTX and College Station. Jalen, first off, can you uh, do you mind describing your your fit to us? <laughs> well, okay, so it was down to three suits. Um, I was trying to decide which which color I was gonna wear. Um, whether it was a light suit, a black suit that was neutral, and a lighter color, um, it was it was hard to decide. I want you to guess when I decided to put that on and decide. I decided this morning. I hope I look all right because I decided this morning right before the, our, our flight. But um, it came down to the shoes. You got to start with the shoes when, it, when you start your outfit off. So I got the black products on, and so from there I built upon that, and then I got all the way up. Right side on the aisle. Yeah, Joseph Duffy, TSTV Sports in Austin. Your old lineman Tyler Booker mentioned how uh, not just that final play in the Rose Bowl has motivated you all so far in the season, but really the entirety of the game with some miscues that you all wish you could have back. Being that your coach and uh, Kalen DeBoer had the same kind of miscues that he wanted back in Washington, has he used that game also in the national championship to motivate you all together? And if so, how? What a great question. Um, I'll say there's a lot of things that you can always reflect on from past seasons. And number one for us was last year. Um, we were blessed and fortunate to be in the college playoffs one game away. Um, what, what, what burn do you need more than being that close to a championship? And so for us, you know, we're very passionate about each other, but also passionate about achieving short-term goals and long-term goals as we're going along this process. And um, we can always reflect and learn from it. And so, you know, we shared that, um, that we shared the same experience from Coast de Boer um, with failing to achieve a national championship. So now it's all about refocusing and focusing, focusing on our 2024 football season. Final question. Left side on the aisle. Joe and Ryan Hennessy, WVTM, NBC 13 in Birmingham. When we were at the Rose Bowl, you told us about doubters, some even your coaches previously. Now you're going into a season where you're highly respected by the media, going into potentially a Heisman run. Does your mindset change, or what are you doing going into this compared to going into last year and what you told us last year? I think it's the same mindset, same mission, being the best version of myself each and every day I walk in the building, being the best quarterback in the country, um, learning. Um, growing as a player, seeking all information from my coaching staff, being a student of the game. Um, I think it's all about going one and no, and the grind doesn't stop. That cliche term, but the grind doesn't stop. Just each and every day that you have an opportunity to play the game of football, seize it. Seize the opportunity. Try to do what's best for the football team in a sense. Um, and so I, I say, you know, for me and my development, and it's all about getting better and just leaning on my brothers because um, it's going to be a chance where we play a game one, and it's all about attacking the, the, the task at hand, which is being the best version of myself, entering the building and having a rep each and every day that I have um, on a practice field. Jalen, thank you very much. Good luck this year. Appreciate it.